Hello everyone and welcome back to Viva Pinata and we are here in our little garden. Oh, and look, okay, so a few things happened since last time you guys were here and we are trying to finish another quest. So the newest quest that we've gotten happens to be with Langston. And he wants us to get a bouncing baby pinata, so a really cute little baby pinata, which is very exciting. And that's actually a big part of the game, is being able to come in and you build these special little houses that you have two pinata go into. And then they can have babies, and it's so cute. And there's actually different, uh, like, special varieties of a lot of the pinatas. So they'll come in unique colors, they'll come in, uh, like, unique patterns. It's really fun. So we're working on that, too. It looks like we've got some new information in our journal. I think we've got some new seeds. Let's check out what's going on in the seed bag with Cedos. Oh, there's mystery seeds! Ooh. Ooh, we can buy and plant some mystery seeds. Well, we'll have to do that in a second. And just so you guys know, all of the things that you see here, like the little, the little patio, the little fence, all of that, we can actually sell and get rid of. And we could turn this whole place into a beach paradise if we wanted to focus on beach pinata. We could turn it into a garden full of beautiful biscotti and apparently we need to learn some more information about little muffin and biscotti number one um, in just a second so we'll do that in just a moment we've got sleeping worms and we actually had two worms and one of them got eaten by the sparrow mint and that is the unfortunate cycle of pinata ecology life they are prey and predators and so some of the pinatas will be eaten by other pinatas sometimes you kind of want that because i wanted a sparrow mint and i would love to have more little sparrow mints and they could have little babies and be so cute here in our garden but sometimes you don't want it to happen like you could just have like a really cute little pinata and the next thing you know one of the predator pinatas shows up and eats it and that's always really sad when that happens hello little experiment you're wide awake let's see and what else let's see it looks like camera huh oh we could take a picture of you really oh look how cute you are okay look at me look at me I need to turn hello little bespotty well now aren't you oh look at that shy little smile that was adorable little bespotty smile i think it's very content with itself oh look <laughs> well that is cute so you can take little pictures of your your different pinatas which is awesome and then let's see anything else the journal wants to tell us something new as well I just want to try to catch up with some of these things. So you can learn about garden areas. You have a player log. You've got resident pinata information. So right now we have one bespotty, uh, and we have a muffin, so two bespotties. We should name this one too. Go to pinata. So we have muffin and cupcake. I'm gonna name you cupcake. Come here. Come here, little one. All right, let me go ahead and we're gonna rename you cupcake because that sounds adorable and then it'll be really fun to go back and see let's see if we can breed these two so we'll breed our very first little pinatas which will be very fun all right cup there we go and then we need a cake cupcake oh i wonder what babies they would have like what would we name the babies maybe maybe cookie <laughs> all right so back to the garden Let's see. Oh, there's Cetos! So here comes Cetos, and he actually provides lots and lots of different varieties of seeds to us. I think we caught a glimpse of him last time. I love his little hat! It's got like a little egg or a seed on top, and he's got little leaves. I wonder if he's related to Lephos. Let me introduce Cetos. He's obsessed with gathering seeds. You should try talking to him. All right, we'll give that an attempt in just a minute. Uh, I think he needs to show up in our garden before we can talk to him, though. All right, and anything else? Well, we've got lots of things to dig through in the journal. Oh, I saw another little, another little sparrow mint. I want to get it. Let's see. There's how tos. There's the leafos log. Player awards. Player log. What does it say about our garden area? Oh, this is how we can view 
how many like pinometers worth of space we have each thing assigned to. So we've got, uh, it looks like five pinometers of space dedicated to soil right now. And we have two dedicated to sand and the rest is dedicated to grass. And that creates a certain kind of environment in our garden that could attract a different kinds of pinata. So let's see, let's go back a little bit. And anything else there's just like the encyclopedia which is really adorable because it'll tell you detailed information about all of the different pinatas and i think we've looked at the bespotty information but i'm going to read it again really quickly so bespotty let's see this pinata is very neat and tidy it likes to buff its shell to a shine and lacquer its spots and those eyelashes just don't naturally curl like that you know unfortunately all this attention on appearance means it often forgets to turn off the iron before it leaves the house in the morning all right that's adorable all right and muffin is our most valuable bespotty and to get it to appear in your garden you just have to have any kind of flower to get it to visit you need to have two kinds of flowers to get it to become a resident you have to have three poppies and to have it be romantic in the mood for having babies you need to have it eat one daisy and have a bespotty house in the garden so let's go ahead and work on trying to have some bespotty romance go on in our garden all right oh now we've got to wait for cedos to enter the garden apparently hello little one i wanted to try breeding you a little cupcake hello I think we need to get a bespotty house and we need to get the daisy. So you saw they need a daisy to eat and they need a bespotty house in order to have babies. Also, I wish we could get more worms. Hi, cutie patootie. Because as bad as it sounds, we need the worms to act as prey to attract. Oh, there's another worm. Are you going to join join my little garden, little worm, so I can get more spearmints? Because I love spearmints. Yay! A worm has just become a resident. Look, look, he's going to change colors. Oh, it's so cute. Look at him go. And look at our little bespotty. Yeah, this bespotty knows how cute he is. He's like, yep, yeah, I'm Cupcake. I'm adorable, and I know it. Oh, aren't you so cute? Oh, Cupcake, you're adorable. All right, now where's Cedos? Is he in our garden yet? The worms are hanging out. Oh, there he is. All right, so let's come over here and talk to Cedos. Hello, Hello, I'm Cedos. Take a seed. Take a seed. And, oh. and don't hit me with your spade. Poor Cedos. Apparently he's worried about that. Oh, what are you doing out of here? Sweep, stay inside our little garden area. Okay, so Cedos just threw down some seeds. Let's go ahead and get our shovel out. And seeds grow better if they have a little, a little hole to be in. So I'm going to go ahead and dig a little hole. And I think he dropped a couple seeds, so I'm going to drop a couple. We'll make a little garden back here in the corner, why not? I'm going to dig a bunch of holes, plant a bunch of seeds. There we go. Alright, look at the little seeds! Alright, come here, little one. I'm going to plant you in this little hole right there. It's raining, hopefully that'll water our little flowers. No spearmint, don't eat the little seed. And let's see if we can get some nice little... Done. There we go. So what are you guys? They're daisies. And they're both doing okay on their water right now. Sweep, you don't need to go and eat that. What is Sweep's information? I'm kind of curious now. So a condition to have him have babies is that you need a Sweetle house and you have to have turnips. Interesting. Well, what's your encyclopedia entry? Sweetle. Ancient Egyptians worshipped God... Capri, who is associated with the beetle. On Pinata Island, the Sweetle is just another bug, so don't let it convince you to lend it money. Despite what it says, it does not have worshippers who will pay you back next Thursday. Oh, really? Well, you're pretty cute. So, apparently, they're like little bugs. And they have it, they find it very hard to resist yams. Noted. I'm not sure if we'll keep Sweep. He's cute, but there's dozens and dozens of pinatas, and you can only have, um, you can only have, like, a few varieties. Alright, so... Oh, watering can. Okay. Sweep. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try not to water Sweep. Watch out, Sweep. I don't want to water you. I'm just trying to water the daisy. Oh, sorry, little guy. Oh, look at him. He's like, holy days, I just got all rained on. Not only did he get rained on, but I also put the <laughs> poured the water all over him. Alright. Oop, what's going on here? Ooh, oh, so now we want to select a bespotty. Come here, cupcake. I gotcha. And select them. Direct them over to the daisy. 
Oh, cupcake. Oh, it's so cute. Cupcake, come here. Come here. Eat the daisy. What do you think? Oh! Oh, look at this! It's a taffy! Wow, look at those mushrooms and those cattails in the background, you guys! Oh, that's so cool! Oh my goodness! Here is a taffy. It likes fruit. Any kind will do. Noted. Well, I'm not interested in getting a taffy right now. I'm actually really enjoying watching Cupcake over here. Cupcake! Cupcake! You're supposed to eat the daisy! Cupcake! Come here! Alright, got Cupcake. Directing Cupcake to the daisy. I think they both need to eat a daisy. So Muffin, I'm gonna direct you over to this daisy. Come on, you two! Leave our little experiment alone. I don't want it to get any ideas about eating you guys. Alright, so while they do that... Are you guys coming over here? Are you gonna eat the little... Oh, there we go! Oh my gosh! She threw, she threw like, wow, fire hydrants at it. Okay, that's a thing. All right, and I think she's eating the daisy. All right. You've consumed the daisy, right? Oh no, now we need to get Muffin. And we need Muffin to eat this daisy. And then I think this daisy's like done. Are you done in rings, daisy? There we go. So now the other Bespotty, Muffin, is coming over. Look at Muffin! Muffin's little confident face. Like, yep, yeah, this is this is my daisy. Mm-hmm. Nom 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 nom. Oh, look at the little petals. That's adorable. Oh! Hello, sir! So now both our Bespotty have eaten their requirements. They have eaten their little daisies. Willie Builder here to tell you my shop is now open. Return to the game, press A, and then press X to open the menu. Select the village option. You can open my store by selecting the icon that looks like my head. All right, so now we've got the builder. Oh, and the white flutterscotch. Look how cute it is. Oh, I have a soft spot for the flutterscotches because they are such pretty little butterflies. Ooh, so apparently these guys, the white flutterscotch, must like daisies. Congratulations! You have attracted a white flutterscotch. Sometimes they are attracted by the noises of other animals, and sometimes the scent of flowers brings them. Oh, that's so fun! All right, so we've got both of our little bespotty are ready. We've got daisies. I think this daisy's dead, but I'm not sure. We've got daisies that we are growing over in the corner. And now we've got Willy to come and work with. So let's go over and say hi to Willy and see what we can Willy do here. Willy here, Master Builder. If you have piñatas that need somewhere to call home, I can make it. In fact, I can build just about any building if you've got the cash. <laughs> All right, so we're going to build up a spotty house. Let's go ahead and or grab I can it. Start the job. That's okay. Oh, and it's huge. <laughs> so the Bespotty house is gigantic. Where are we going to put it? Can it fit over here? Okay, it can kind of fit over here. Let's put it back here and then we're going to finish shopping. And now we kind of need to wait for uh, Willy to show up and build a Bespotty house. So what to do until then? Well, let's come over and we'll plant some more daisies so we can get them ready. Let's see, I think I need a nice little, a nice little shovel. And I'm gonna dig some holes. And we'll plant some daisies back here. And some of the other seeds. We'll see what kind of other flowers we can grow back here for our pinatas to enjoy. All right, and if I tap this flower, I think it'll give me some seeds, but I'm not sure. It gave me a seed! Yay! I think I just killed it! Darn! You've got to be really careful with these things. Alright. Hey, Billy! Willy! Whatever your name is. Alright, but then we can come over and we can actually sell the daisy flower. So, let me see. I want to sell you. And I'll sell the little dead flower. And then... Is there anything else I can sell? I don't think so, so I'm going to go ahead and sell those. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at it. The worms are like, what's going on down here? They're all curious about it. That's adorable. Bespanis, your little house is almost done. Oh, the worms are so cute when they sleep. Okay, are you ready? Are you gonna unveil it? Oh, 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 here we go. Okay. How do I open it up? I want to, do I, oh, do I tap it with the shovel? All right, let's reveal the building. Dun, 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 dun. So what is it? What is it? I want to see it. Oh, it's cute. So this is the little Bespotty house. So it looks like it's a little, oh, it's got, look at that. It's got the cute little, um, fire hydrant over here. Oh, because they throw fire hydrants, don't they? They really do. So it's like a little fire station. Oh, let's take a look inside. You can actually look inside each and every one of the houses that they build and try to see what they are. Oh, so this is the Bespotty house. So they've got like a nice little flower they can rest on with pillows. Oh, it's so cute. We should have some very happy Bespotty in here. All right, so next up, we need to select our lovey-dovey Bespotty. So Cupcake and Muffin direct them to each other. Oh. Oh. Do we have Bespotty Romance? Oh, 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 oh. Look at this, look at this. Oh, it's so cute. They're kind of wiggling their wings at each other. Oh, here we go, you guys. And now we're going to see if we can Welcome help out the Bespotty in the romance. Oh, you need yeah. to take control of your pinata and try to reach your partner without hitting any loathers. The loathers are creatures created by Professor Pester, and they hate the pinatas being happy. Push the left stick in any direction to make your pinata move. And remember, if you hit a loather, you will lose a chance and waste some of your time. If you lose all of your chances, the game is over. Are you ready? All right, we're ready. As the old saying goes, you can't hurry you can't love. Hurry love, and that's especially true on Pinata Island these days. You'll notice that the object of your affections will be none too pleased if you make your approach before proving your feelings. To do this, you need to collect the required number of love hearts indicated by the meter on the screen. If you search out more heart tokens than you need, then you will receive a chocolate coin bonus for each one collected. Any heart tokens you leave behind will count against your total time. All right, so let's go collect the hearts. Are you guys ready? Oh, go little Bespotty, go! Oh, look at the little hearts. And we can't go up to our little mate up there. Oh, can I get down there? Whoop, 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 gotta be careful. Oh, I don't wanna, whoa, we almost ran into one. It's a little harder than it seems because they're walking like a little beetle. There we go, we got all the hearts. Yes! And we have made it through the romance maze. We have collected all the hearts, and hopefully that means we have two very happy Bespotty. Now you've completed the game. All right. Your happy piñatas will go into their house and do a romance dance. All right, let's see the romance dance, if we're able to. All right, they're headed over. They're headed over into their cute, adorable little house that I put the wrong direction and I feel silly about. All right, in they go. And this is actually where the Bespotty will now sleep during the night too. So they should be nice and comfy. Oh, here we go, guys. The little romance dance. <laughs> Every single one of the pinatas has a unique dance that they will do together before they have a little egg, which is adorable. Oh, it's so cute. Cupcake and Muffin. Oh, Storkos! She's Hi. kind of... I wouldn't say shy. <laughs> Storkos is eggshed. Pinatas have made an egg! After pinatas have done the romance dance, a new baby pinata is brought to the garden, safely packed in a patterned egg. Yay! So we have a new little egg! Oh, that's so exciting! We are a bespotty romancer. Ready. 
<laughs> you really seem to have Oh yes, so we are we are have leveled up again. See all the petals to the upper right corner around our little clock? The more petals we get, the faster we level up. So where's our little egg? Worry no more, your new egg has been delivered safely. Another successful mission for <gasps> there it is! Look, you guys! There's the little egg! So there we go. We've got our tiny little egg. I think I can pick it up. I'm gonna move it, like, over here. Can I move it over here? Okay, wait for the egg to hatch. Never mind. I want to just put it down. I just didn't want it to be stuck, like, in the... There we go. I didn't want it to be stuck in the water right there, because that seemed a little bit odd. But maybe that's what Bespotty need. So there we go, you guys. We have gotten our first house. We have figured out how to breed our pinatas. And now the challenge is to raise our little baby, wait for it to hatch, and raise it. Send it off for that challenge. And I'm also hoping we can attract more of the sparrowmints into our garden and be able to get them... Oh, oh no, it's a, sh a sour shelly bean! Oh boy, we're gonna have to deal with this guy next time. This is bad news bears. <laughs> Alright, you guys. While we're guarding our little egg, we have some Here trouble coming trouble? into the garden. A sour shelly bean has found your He's gonna try to eat our seeds, but we will take good care of him. And we will do that next time. We'll, we'll defend our garden. Believe it or not, we're gonna have to whip out our shovel to kind of keep him at bay. And we will try to start attracting some of the other pinatas that we're very interested in gathering up and adding to our wonderful little family. Like that sparrow mint. I see that sparrow mint over there. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.